much. That I'm talking about things in the periphery. Um, I don't even know. I, I probably will just put it on the private because the 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 whole point of that video is me being tired of the living, and it's not about wanting to unalive myself. That is not it at all. This is about just feeling like dropping alive to the ground not by my own hand because there's just too much too much stress the other night when I laid down after a couple of days of out of routine things that happen um due to excess responsibilities that I have that aren't my responsibility really but are only am responsible for when it's something other people don't want to deal with I laid down and my heart started racing and tripping out and doing all these. It was like it was skipping around and flopping around in my chest. And I sat up and, you know, I breathed and just like, I didn't panic or anything. I just waited for, I could still feel it kind of going on a little bit. Then it's leveled out. I laid back down. I kind of felt it start up again a little bit. And I sat back up for a little while. And then eventually I laid back down and I, it didn't happen again. <sighs> I know these are called anxiety or panic attacks, but I guess maybe it was because I had gotten home. I'm looking up at some hawks that are fighting. Wow, that would have been cool on video. But anyway, uh, I guess that it, you know, I had finally laid down. It was finally, I could relax for a little while, but I was going to have to get up in a few hours and go get my son from work. That's really messed with my sleep patterns. And when you mess with my sleep patterns, it affects my mood. It affects my productivity. And I guess it affects my heart. I don't know. Plus all the other stress. Um, all I can figure is, is I got home and I could relax. And when I tried to relax, my body went, uh-uh, you can't do that. Everything going on in your life and then the stress and whatever else and irritations and, you know, and it just went, I don't know, kind of like... Uh, your motors, your throttle getting stuck. Because that's what it feels like. Lately, I have, there is dust in here. Um, Been on full throttle, like stuck. I'm too old for all that, man. I am, they, I don't know, I read somewhere that middle age is considered 35. I really don't consider 35 middle age, more like in your maybe 45. But, I'm past that. I'll be 51 in February. I am tired. I just want my peace back. So, I'm, because of this, even though really the video is just me being so stressed out and just thinking, what if I did drop dead? What would happen? You know, well, my son would be the only one watching out for my parents because nobody else does. I mean, my sister comes over after work and checks, maybe comes in, takes the dog out, whatever, but she's not there for the daily. And she gets all aggravated and frustrated at things and she just like, I can't sit around you and walks out. That's just how she is. Just her, whatever. She works in a stressful environment and she won't change that environment. And that's her, not my business, not my circus, not my monkeys. Unfortunately, there's a lot of things that are not my circus, not my monkeys, that have become my monkeys and circus, but I have not a lot of say-so in it a lot. I don't want any say-so. I don't want them to be my circus and my monkeys anymore. But this whole thing is affecting, it's affecting my health. I've already been to the cardiologist a few times this year for irregular heartbeats. And it's irregular due to... A, possible medication that I've gotten off of and it went away but apparently stress induced I know arrhythmias are not a good thing to have at all our family has heart disease background I take cholesterol medicine and things like that to prevent such nonsense because I don't want to ever have my chest cracked open and my heart valves rearranged <laughs> no I've been doing all the leg work and trying to get to an ortho that takes Medicaid, which has stressed me out because basically I was doing the doctor's job, doctor staff's job. I found him 
did all the calling to get everything from wherever it needed to be sent to there. And now I'm waiting an appointment. And I got another procedure in February because the way my digestive system is where a lot of my stress goes when I can't be all neurotic on the outside and have to perform daily life. It takes it out on my insides. And I guess it took it out on not just the intestinal areas, but also in the cardiac area. So I guess I will delete that other video. Some people might call it passive aggressive. And it's just me being stressed and tired. This is me being stressed and tired. I'm supposed to be at Sunday school right now, but I just don't feel like going in there and sitting down. I am so tired. I got two hours sleep. Got up somewhere after midnight to get Anthony. You have to wake up to drive because you're driving in the dark. Even though you're half asleep, you have to be alert enough to pick him up. Pick him up, come home, and try to wind back down into going back into sleep mode. And then get jolted awake for our church. Because if I miss church, there's always questions. And it's not like I want to miss church. It's just I'm so tired. And when do I get the rest? Because if Anthony goes to work, I've got the dog. Dog barks at random things during the day. I can't really take a nap. So I'm really tired. So I guess you'll see this video later on this week instead of the other one. Oh, but you will see Rescue Cat video. That was like my diversion of crazy life. Instead of partying on a Friday night, we tried to save a kitty cat, me and my friend Megan.